Okay. Hello, hello. I hope some people are getting ready to join. Uh, okay. So, hello. My name is Christine Okosun, the owner and founder of the Nigerian Bell Canto Society. Today, I'll be talking about the art of singing and then we'll do some, I'll answer some um, questions as regards any vocal challenges or 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 concepts that you really don't understand. So please, if you are in the building, just click on the like button as you're coming, which is the emoji for the thumbs up. And I hope to see See all the people I invited to join me today. Nobody has come on board, but that's okay. So, if you have not been, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do that. As you're coming in, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and in and the first two series of how the voice works, because I'll be talking about basically both of them today. It's three o'clock and then let's let me just wait for people to join and then I will start and I really hope that everything is set the volume is good but if people come I can't say for sure okay to be a waste to start talking um Dropping ideas without people. Hey, who is in the building? Hello, please, if you are in the building. Hey, my sister. Adela, thank you. Give me a thumbs up as you're coming in. Please give me a thumbs up. Please, if you are also online, give me a thumbs up and drop a comment so that I will see those that have joined. Hey, Mrs. Lee, if you have any questions, please get them ready because today I'm talking extensively extensively about the art of singing. It is not about, oh, let me do the high notes and all that. It's more about understanding the laryngeal function, the laryngeal muscle function. And then uh, uh, being able to sing effectively and efficiently without having any zero people now. Please, if you are coming in, emoji for the thumbs up and drop a comment. Uh, Mrs. Lee just came in and she left. I don't know why. Okay, I'm going to wait for people to join because it's not fun talking alone. One thing, um, by far I go on. We have a lot of good musicians in Nigeria, but the only ones you seem to, that seem to be known are those that are in the limelight. It's just like saying we have beauty queens, and the real, the real beauty queens are actually not. Uh, I'm not saying pageant is pageant is wrong, but you don't see them displaying their beauty on the uh, what do you call it, the runway or whatever it's called, competition thing. I, Adiola, thank God you're still here. Ah because I can only see zero. Okay, so let me just continue talking. Can you hear me? Just type if yes, if you can hear me. Type yes, if you can hear me. Please type yes, if you can hear me. I think I need to increase the volume. Uh, can you hear me? Mrs. Lee, can you hear me? Okay, very good. So, talking about voice, I uh, remember we used to do a lot of placement, um, placement, 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 th thinking about placement when we started learning how to sing um, at Muson. But how I wish we, did li we had listened to our teacher the more. He might not have been able to tell us a specific language to cut across to us, but the truth, he had good ears. That's talking about Mr. Okede. He had good ears to recognize when a voice is being um, is resonating from the wrong place. Now, 
to debunk the whole placement thing. Voice is not formed in the front at all, saying, sing in the mask, where, where, where. When you hear the resonation, now the need for human brains to be able to comprehend and interpret what they've comprehended to, oh, the voice is sounding here, and therefore it's in my head, it's moving all the way. Mm, that's created this, um, this, this um, whole misconception about how the voice is formed. The voice is actually formed at the back of the throat. I'm going to talk about four months today. The first four months, I'm going to talk about breathing. And I'm going to talk about uh, the laryngeal function. If you have not seen that video, please do see that video. The, the laryngeal function and the, the, uh, in relation with the vocal fold. If you understand that, then most of your problems on singing will be solved. Because like I said in my second series of how the voice works, there's nothing like a um, vocal classification, vocal registers of chest, middle, head. It's, as I was saying, is the human brain that um, what, that translated it to, to, to that is actually more of a metaphor to, to, to describe, for example, when you speak with infle inflection, your voice goes up, comes down, for example, uh, hi, my name is Chris Nicoso, welcome to my channel. It goes, hey, Chris Nicoso, welcome to my channel and all that. With that inflection, you, you hear your ears, your ear will be able to hear the movement from oh, it's sounding low, it's going high. But scientifically speaking, there is no such thing as vocal registration till date, till date, because uh, it's just based on a limited um, definition, limited understanding, all on sensational, sensational sounds and all that. So before, you, are, you seem to be the only one here. Can you just ask me, type a question so that I'll start from you? Because you seem to be the only one here. I sent invites, sent invites, and I hope the others join soon. Yes, I do. Data can be challenging in Nigeria. But I really hope they join soon. Please, do you have any questions? Mrs. Lee, do you have any question? Let's start with you. Or should I send the link for you to join me here? Join my screen. I want to avoid touching this phone too much. Do you have a question? Joining. Click on the thumbs up, which is the emoji, and um, leave a comment for me here so that I know who has joined. Limited knowledge, yes. Limited knowledge is, is, is actually very, very dangerous because a lot of us went with that limited knowledge thinking we've arrived. And along the line, we now found out that what used to work for us doesn't work again. Of course, it won't work again because it's not the right thing. It's not the correct thing. And we start grappling, 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 grappling. Grappling, rather. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Lee is asking, how can you know your vocal strength? Ah, really explain what you mean by vocal strength, because I need to understand your meaning of vocal strength to be able to answer that question. Let me send you a link so that you join my, or just join and speak instead of typing. Hold on. I'm about to turn the link to you now. Okay. I'm just sending the link now. Please click on that link and then you'll be on my screen and then we'll talk instead of you typing so that I avoid touching this device so much and now get all the whole setting. Go crazy on me. Just click on that link, uh, Mrs. Lee, click on that link. So that you join me on the screen and then you ask your questions, your question. I want to avoid to touching this um, 
screen as much as possible. The other device does not have. Oh, you're in the salon. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're the only two here now. Besides that, um, you could just do it to just face, just your face. Just your face. Oh, oh, the power has gone. Nigeria will heal, heal the. Is expected. I was be hot because I need to understand what you mean by vocal strength. What is your own definition of vocal strength? What do you mean by vocal strength? So that we're able to ask the question because perception differs. And in communication, everything needs to be clear in the feet forward and the feet um, backward thing. So I need to really understand what you mean by vocal strength and not just assume, that, okay, this is what you mean and then answer the question in a way that will not satisfy you or that will cause more confusion. So please, if you can shed more light on what you mean by your own meaning of vocal strength or just um, click on that link to join my screen. Hello, hello, hello. I really hope other people come to join because I sent, although I sent it this morning, but hey, it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm expecting Chinwe, I'm expecting Ifoma, I'm expecting John. Those ones, they gave me their, their um, response. Oh, still I'm in the salon answer. Mrs. Leo, where are you? Where are you? Okay, if you are just joining, welcome to my channel. My name is Christine Okosun, and today we'll be talking about how the voice works, giving scientific explanations that will help you understand how the voice works instead of just relying on your own perception or sensation which could be misleading to how the voice works and at the end of the day you you won't be able to be efficient enough in your in your arts now this is the thing okay she said uh, hold on please let me read this from mrs lee See, I'm actually talking about the dark and light of the voice. I'm actually talking about light, uh, dark, light and, and dark of the voice. As she's talking about timbre. But your first question was, um, how do you know your strength? And now you're saying you're talking about the timbre. Okay, let me just go this way. Let me just attempt to answer the question this way. Because it's two different things I can pick from this. Okay. Okay, she further explains. Say some singers have their vocal strength when they sound lighter. Why some when they sound dark? Ah, uh, okay. I will not say um, some singers have their vocal strength when they sound lighter and some when they sound darker. Your timbre, your sounding dark or sounding light has to do with the position of your larynx. The lower you breathe, the lower your larynx. For example, I'm going to breathe and after that I will talk. For example, I breathe in. If you don't understand, I know you've seen my video on breathing, but if you don't understand, ask question. Let me just rephrase that breathing again to anybody that is just joining. Breathing for singing is actually totally different from breathing for just speaking that I've been speaking since and unconsciously breathing. So the power is back on. So when I breathe, First exhale, then I breathe in. My lungs expand, the back expands. Now, this is the rib cage. The rib cage expands when I breathe in, then the back of the rib cage lifts up. And as I'm breathing in the more, the diaphragm descends because this is the position of the diaphragm at first position. As I'm breathing in the more, it descends. And you can see as it's descending, the, the, the long expand representing the, the, the expansion of my my of the skull for arm, then the back of the ribcage tilts 
upward and upward. Now, I breathe into my lower back. Hey. Oh. Hey. Woo. Oh. Oh. That's a darker timbre because my larynx is low. If I put the, if I breathe in not so deep and the larynx is assuming the position of a neutral uh, position that is not so low and definitely high larynx singing is not that healthy because the resonation won't be good. It won't even carry. So let's say I breathe in. Hey, hey. So light and dark doesn't have to to to. That any anybody is is. is capable of doing the light and dark sound. At the dark sound, your, your larynx is the what you have to breathe deep. And then your T your T A muscles are the thyroid arytenoid is more activated at that point. So oh hey oh 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 and that way your voice carries just that now now it's left to individual to say, oh, I prefer when I sing with darker timbre. But the other thing to consider is, if you now choose that, how clear are your words? Because the words should be clear. You shouldn't sacrifice darkness and then lose the words. At the end of the day, we can't hear you. Where's the communication? You so dark and so putty. Especially for the basis, the, the assumption for bass, rather. They go, we can't hear a single word so your preference matters now there's something to also note hello if you're just joining please smash the like button and drop a comment so that i know those that the person that is just joining i'm answering a question by um by mrs lee she asked them how would she identify her vocal strength then she further explains saying that some singers prefer um, sound better when they sound darker or lighter and i'm explaining that lighter or darker sound everybody is capable of that has the only thing is how low your larynx can descend when you breathe which is equal to the low the lower the breath the more the breath the more the descent of the larynx and therefore darker sound and the voice will carry the voice will carry, especially when you do, you, 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 you involve a pogio, that is leaning on your breath. What does leaning on your breath with? In a simple term, just avoiding the diaphragm coming back up to its best position. As you, you're still making the diaphragm, not at all cost, please, because to every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. I remember then that, I don't know, I, I, I do remember, we used to say, like a poo in, like a poo in hello, that does not have to do with singing. Because like when you lift weight, it's going to be, a sound that would not uh that would sound so retarded pressed down so it's nothing like you poo -poo. Mm -mm. but you avoiding the likes the the diaphragm from popping back up for as much as you can not at all cost so now depends on you you could prefer the darker sound in this song or in this section of the music depends on the style for example, you can't sing Broadway that has to do with um, lyrical singing with dark sounds. We saw that in, let me just use a poor example because that's not really an opera, it's a musical, Phantom of the Opera. Christine Dye versus La Colotta. La Colotta was all down. Who do you think was, obviously? Because of um, the way the, the movie was written, her role has to do with that. So we couldn't even hear the words. And you could, if you remember, the phantom was telling her that, um, is it was her or talking to the Tamil singer that they can't hear the words they are singing. So it depends on your say, hey, Johnny's here, oh, no, Salase. I've got to see them. Oh, Rio, welcome. Okay, that's the base. John, I'm posting a link now, and I want you to click on that link and join. John is a bass singer. Now, as I was saying about the dark sounds, she said the physical version will not make a physical version will make more sense to me. That's I said, click on the link. Mrs. Lee, that's I said, click on the link. But you said you are in the salon and um basically you are shy. I know you are shy, but 
<laughs> hey John, please, John, I just posted a link. Please click on that link. John, click on that click on that link. John is a base. Is it base or baritone? Baritone. And I would rather use him as an example here. Because sometimes you get confused. Oh, because it's baritone, they can't sing tenor. Um Rico Caruso can sing tenor, can sing bass, and can sing baritone. It all has to do with the descent of the larynx and the amount of air he uses to carry that phrase. I don't know if you've noticed a single line of, of song. You notice that at some point your words are clear and, and at, at other vowels, at other vowels, your words are not that loud, are not that, um, they, do, they don't carry as much. So, so many things come in play. Your, that's I said, understanding of how the larynx, larynx and the muscles works in singing, understanding that um, how the voice works. You need to watch that video again, but most importantly, you need to join the screen so that I'll explain to you. Because it's like reading an abstract, um, understanding, uh, reading an abstract way of explaining how um, Excel sheet works without you seeing it. I meant that I'll have to see you physically. <laughs> okay, no problem. Ah, you're still shy after all these years. Ah, Mrs. Lee, after all these years, you're still shy. God, I hope your daughter does not think you're shyness. So. Shy, you can be shy. John, please click on that link. Click on that link because knowledge can be very dangerous. When I say knowledge, half knowledge, because I could just explain it this way and you will not understand without a practical demonstration with you. And you might think you understand or you feel you understand. So you take that understanding and that understanding has to do with your own perception so far and you now apply it. At the end of the day, you get the right result. That's why I need that feet forward, feet back, backward every time I give an example of something. Um, John, I've not yet seen you. Where is Johnny? Johnny, click on that link. <laughs> You're laughing. Hey, my brother is here. Oh, hey, oh, oh, hi, Sue. How is you? I'm okay. I'm okay. good. Can we all see John? I'm good. Can we all I'm see great. Johnny? Okay. So, John, I want to yeah. use you as an example. I was trying to explain to Mrs. Lee okay. that drop or light sound anybody can produce okay. it's just a matter of deep, the deeper your breath the deeper your lungs for example some that's i said i prefer baritone voice anytime any day okay. anyway, this is not okay. a baritone tenor tenor war to me baritone can sing tenor as well if he chooses yeah. to so i want us to do an example to mrs jodifoy mrs jodifoy this is john he sings baritone you sing baritone right okay you yes, of course. Yes, yes. yes. I, I, yeah. okay. So, so I don't know if you've warmed up. I've not warmed up. So in case you've not warmed up, just don't do full voice. Okay. I want you to pick your favorite area. What's your favorite area? Uh, I have so many areas that I love, but um, I don't think I'm warmed up to do what, a particular what? one I really like. Yeah, that's okay, I said. So yeah, yeah. Just... Don't... Just okay, okay, let me just pick do, one tenor, uh, one tenor and one baritone area. Okay. Okay. Um okay, okay I'll I'll try I'll try loud go after two too. Ah, and you say you're not yet warmed up. I think you're warmed up. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> so uh, let's do some breathing exercises so that we don't get any injury. So do the breathing in okay. breathing breathing exercise. All right. Yeah. And then some lip trail. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's hear your largo, largo, uh, largo, whatever bass song you have. I like that okay. song. <laughs> okay. Okay, go on. 
Okay, I'll just I'll just pick a random key so that I don't pick um, I don't No problem. I don't... No problem. Okay. No problem at all. Lord go for that on the lot it all. Lord go. Larela larela larela. Love love the heck get up a job best to. Larela larela larela. Love. Oh, che be vivere. Che be chiare. Let me just stop there. <laughs> okay, very good. Now, uh, if you, uh, I was saying, if you notice, we had different harmonic sounds sounding from the same person in the same song at different points. But sometimes, yeah. sometimes it sounded lighter. Because it can't be bo, yeah. bo, 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 because you are, you are exactly. trying to sing a lower voice type. Yes, that is what yeah. I'm trying to explain. So at that point, at that point, two things are responsible: the no, the the, mm -hmm. the the pitch of the notes, the amount of the air pressure, mm -hmm. and then your acoustics. Acoustics meaning the the because we have we have a different spaces this in our space, head. Yeah. Different spaces, yeah. yeah. Different spaces translates to the different volume, just like a violin uh, uh, sound resonates in the body. Same thing, yeah. the human body, our faces as our spaces are different, so our resonation is also different. Also, coupled with the fact that your breath, too. Then, formants, formants are very important. Talking about the first one, but when you breathe in your you know, back of your throat, that space there. The lower the breath, the more the yeah. sound. Good. And the lower the larynx, the more the sound. This same song, exactly. you can sing it as a tenor. You can True. sing it as a tenor. Depends on it has you can it, it has to do with what you feel like at that point. Yes. But do you agree exactly. with me that most basses are you... baritone, especially the young basses and baritone? All of us are young anyway. When I did new ones, they sacrifice depth and color that's the timbre for the words we can't even hear the words at all at that point the singing True. is on intelligence on intelligence we can't hear any single thing so i want you to sing the same song as a tenor like a, as if you're a tenor okay that's why like, man if you heard okay. to, to tenor anytime it is okay it's so if, if i were has good chest presence. so so if i tenor, if i were tenor, this is how it would sound if I were a tenor, this house and I'm singing the same song. Lord, go, for to the Lachita, Lord, go. Larela, 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 Lord, press to about the Hega Kelaba Jap, press to Larela, 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 Lord. Thank you. So, at the end of the day, sometimes, <laughs> thank God that Mr. Joe is not here. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, Tell us to can sing bass and like sometimes I don't think we need tell us, but and we need tell us anyway. We have these tell us like Luciano Pavarotti. That in fact, let me don't mention Pavarotti. Let me mention my bestest, bestest, bestest Caruso, Enrico Caruso. His voice carries very well and it has a very, very unique sound. Despite the the the, the, the situation happening in his lungs, there's one thing we don't have here. We don't have doctors working with our voices. Nobody know. Okay. We don't have laryngologists yeah. working with our voices, so we all depend on sensation, and this sensation so far has not guided us properly because we're now going into the, 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 the danger of saying of saying placements. Placements. And trust me, by the time we, you're thinking placements, you're causing constriction either in your throat or you're using your throat to change the shape of the sound. Mm -hmm. Or because your understanding is okay, voice plays it. So you're singing with more effort because you're thinking, I'm singing towards the side, I'm singing towards the side of my face. So that was a lot of um, of issues in uh, in singing, and that will not even carry in opera. I, I, I can tell because I've done that before. It won't carry in opera at all. Yes. So, um, John, what would you say are the? I hope. Please, if you're just joining in, click on the like. Adede Giomoba. Hi, welcome. Thank you so much. Please click on the like button as you're coming in. Um, John, can you please sing a tenor aria? Let them hear. It's just the same voice. So Adela, it's just the same voice. Okay. That can...
do whatever timber. Okay, so um, I'm not used to singing tenor areas, or I've not done tenor areas in a long time, but I'll attempt it. I'll attempt to one. Let me just do, let me do Ave Maria. Okay. Ah, do I, do I, okay, I'll just sing a session of um, Una Fortiva, but I, I'll i just use the words, I, I don't really know all the words, I'll just do some parts. It's okay, because you're, you're a baritone, it's okay. <laughs> Una furtiva lagrima e lo chiso li spontò la ridita le giovani I can't remember the words so much. But I <laughs> Mind you, good. John is a baritone. He's a baritone. He's not a tenor. <laughs> so definitely he did not learn the song. But you can yeah. hear the opening. I don't like it. The opening, the first one, makes us feel, oh, this is tenor. I remember the first day I I, 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 I heard, um, what's his name? If I remember his name, I'll put it in the, in the, set. the very old, old tenors. And I was like, is this a tenor? He was sounding so bass, like, in my ear, bass, like, because we, we, we've, we've categorized the voice into bass, tenor, um, um, what do you call this again? Lyrical tenor, then we have the Bulgarian tenor, like the, like, like, okay, therefore, if you're this tenor, you cannot sing this area. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you yeah. agree with such classification, John? Let me hear from you first. Okay, um, so um, for over time, um, a lot has been um, um, modified. A lot of um, um, ideas has been uh, revolutionized. And I think um, it happens with time and as things change. So um, in the past, um, there's a lot of direct specification or a voice specification. Some tenors cannot sing. Even up to now, there are some tenors that can't sing certain roles. You get, but but you can see there are so many tenors now that are trying to break that um, barrier. So you have held in tenors now singing roles that are meant to be for lyric and light tenors. So over time, now I think what they do now is ability to be able to handle such role, and the voice the voice is important too. The texture of the voice is important, but I think now what they check more is ability for the singer to um, um, handle such role. So if you follow opera singers, you discover that um, some roles that are not meant for some, I don't want to call names of singers, but some roles that are not meant, you see that some mm -hmm. tenor singers now do those roles, yeah, over time. But in the past, it wasn't so. In the past, if you are doing a role that is meant for a leggero, you strictly sing that role as a leggero to you. The, to the to your career is um, to the end of your career. You sing as a legendary tenor. If you are singing the role for a lyric tenor, till the to you to your career is over as a tenor, you keep singing as a lyric tenor. But now you discover that dramatic tenors now do lyric tenor roles, and which is which is, I, I think I think it, it it's just a shift in the trend. You get so it's just um, okay. I think a lot a lot of people are adjusting to some things that are not. Um, that were not same in the past. So, but I I feel I feel um, the voices actually in the in the opera world, the voice is um, is a very very special tool, special instrument that um, that have a has a particular fitting. So it I feel um, if your voice is fitting for a particular role. You should stick to it so that your voice is able to work well with such role. Um, in singing opera, agility is very important. I can't do, I can't, I can't, um, having the range or having the, um, the uh, technique is not enough for you. If you're not comfortable singing um, in a particular voice, you shouldn't be doing that because in the long run, you see that it's harmful to you. Okay, so I just feel that you should try to do what is very comfortable for you, what seems natural to your singing. Singing very natural is very important. What seems natural to you, what seems very comfortable to you is very important. So many times, 
many singers try to force themselves to do what is not for them and what is not in their um, capacity as singers. So, and then they get it all wrong. So I just feel um, before, yeah. So, so before you do, before you try attempt something, make sure that you have the capacity to do it to go well with you. Okay, I, I love, I love, I love the way you you answered everything, and especially part I said natural approach. But this is where I would I have a, a difference of opinion. This is okay. where I have a difference of opinion. Um, I believe that, like I said, there is nothing like voice registration. It's just one voice, and um, your ability to sing light or dark has to do with as you just demonstrated your breathing and your breathing. The lower you breathe into your lower back, the more your larynx is sent, the darker your sound. And the okay. more your TA, that's your thyroid arytenoid muscle, thyroid arytenoid muscle is, is um, activated. Because the truth is this, once you breathe in and your vocal folds close properly, your mm. fundamentals will be heard and your harmonics will be more. But okay. if it doesn't close up properly, that's when it comes cuts across as if someone's singing is uh, breathy. So technique is um, of the utmost importance. Also considering acoustics, formats, yeah. and all that scientific. All that okay, okay. But here is the thing: okay. local agility exercises. We have vocal agility exercises. But as one grows physically, same thing one grows technically. Because you can also do a song that is more than you technically now. So that's why I agree with what is. Um, yeah. You have to do what you are comfortable with, and of course, thinking of the natural, um, um, what comes to you Approach. naturally. Developing, you have to develop your voice on a consistent uh, basis, and that has to do with uh, having the right teacher, having mm -hmm. the right um, exposure to knowledge. But trust me, um, Maria Callas uh, could okay. do different roles. She could do different roles. What we call colasura. So there, I, I, I will not mm -hmm. understand that at all. Yeah. Colasura. So it can't do it. Is, it is a lie. True. It is a lie. It's just you having that skill, developing that skill, doing vocal agility things, and having the correct technique. Because a lot of colasuras so far, I think they are colasuras. Are you there, John? Have okay. We know one. I'm not mentioning name, but you know the one I'm referring to, mm. right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's not about shouting. It's not about how high high the notes because what the person is yeah. waiting for is a performance orgasm, so people will clap. <laughs> Whilst our yeah. ears are actually bleeding at that point because of the person's approach. So it is not about how high the notes is. It's the arts, the genuine arts of. The, do you do you understand? This, the, the technique it requires to sing that song. It's not about the nasal thing. It's not about the, I don't know how to just say it beyond. You just have okay. to seek for the right teacher and then apply yourself to the lessons that are being taught. They are agility exercises. Once you do it and you understand it, then you can apply it. But if you don't understand it yet and you want to not apply it, so a song that's beyond your technical power, um, technical prowess at that moment, it will sound like nonsense. Although in the midst of people that do not know, they will cheer for you. Cheering does not mean that you did well. True. It could be ignorant. You are doing it right. It could exactly. Be there could be ignorance. So that is just the thing. But my second question to you is so, this. Is okay. okay, go on. Go on, fax my second question. Go on. Okay. Um I, I, I want to chip in I, I want to chip in something okay so so um, um many um, singers have um uh, a, a, a misconception as to uh, is so why why i actually advise people to sing what is in their voice or sing what their voice is capable of doing is because we have different um vocal folds and vocal food sizes vary from singer to singer there are some singers that have thicker vocal folds and why some have thinner vocal folds 
for especially for the um for the for the um, female singers they have thinner vocal folds it means that their um, their vocal um, fold vibrates at higher and faster frequency and then the men they have, they have thicker vocal folds which means that their voices vibrate as much more slower frequency so it also varies from um, the individual individual parts the the baritone and the tenor the tenor's vocal fold is usually um, uh, thinner than the baritone and so is the baritone a little thinner than the bass did so you, the did, did you, hold on did you read about eric cariso did you read about eric cariso no 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 <laughs> he wrote about his vocal fold is thick and is a tenor Yes, exactly what I'm explaining. So dramatic, I said it varies from from fact to fact. So they are tenors that are dramatic. There was no fact. With, uh, there was no fact. There was no fact with um, Enrico Caruso. He could do any role, any 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 um, any type of singing. Go on, read about him. Okay. Yes. Yes. I, I understand. I understand that there are some people with exceptional um, abilities. Caruso is one of them. Um, Chachila Bartoli is one of them. Bartoli can actually sing. I will, I, I will not use her as an example, per se. Yeah, but, but, but what, I, what I'm say. saying is that Bartoli has a very wide range, which can make her sing in 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 both fuck as a mezzo and then, and then as a soprano. I'm not talking anything about her technique. I'm not I'm not saying anything about I'm just saying that, that I'm talking about her range. So there are some people that are exceptional that way. Um, as a bass or a baritone or a tenor, they are they are they are setting um, standards or what well, I say what is normal for your vocal fold. But if you have the ability, if your voice is, um, if your voice has the ability to be able to expand among uh, above three octaves or up to three octaves as a guy, then it's good for you. you can work it. You can make it doable. Yeah, but if it is not. You don't need to. I, I don't. I don't encourage young singers, especially, to push their voices. Some people just feel that yes, they can do a lot. You can actually do a lot of things with your voice. But I don't encourage young singers, especially when you are learning, learning how to um, do these um, things. You are learning things with technique. I don't encourage young singers to push their voices because they get it wrong. They don't even know what to you. do right. I agree with you on that. They don't even know what to do right. So. One. Most times, you, 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 I try to make them work within their range until they feel that they have the ability to expand that range. Are you with me? So, I, I agree with you on, on, on this is how I put it. Um, first of all, let your, your technique be grounded. Then naturally, naturally, some other things, some other... Um, some other parts of your voice will be opening that you're not used to. And then you'll be able mm -hmm. to tackle. It's just like saying every every everybody that calls herself a soprano wants to do Queen of the mm -hmm. Nights. It is rubbish. Exactly. Do you agree? Is, exactly. Which is wrong. I it agree is with rubbish. you. Which is wrong. Yeah. So so like, some, like you said. They achieve that, they achieve that F by by um so much force on the Yes, they the do a lot of force. ridiculous things Ex to their voice, a lot of manipulation. That's the word manipulation. I just might sound, oh, the person is hitting his brows. Exactly. Anybody who has good ears is actually cringing now. What is this lady singing now? Please, can't she shut up? You know. Um, but exactly. have you heard of Luisa Tetrazini? Luisa Tetrazini. Yes, I've heard of Tetrazini. You know, ordinarily when you hear, you hear her, you're like, oh, she's the dramatic metal. You know, we like to categorize yeah. voice over here. Once the voice sounds yeah. big, it's mezzo. Mm -hmm. Whereas that person is a pure soprano mm -hmm. and she can get to high head she can do she can do fast passages to the, the mm -hmm. mathematic passages she can do any practically like anything her voice yeah. is so she can do what we call the coloratura color, color, role she can do yeah. the lyric role she can do the full lyric role but her voice is just simply what it is an instrument a well developed instrument that is what i'm coming in because okay, by yeah, time we, we 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 now like oh you know the mind is so powerful we've okay. already we've yeah. already um compartment compartmentalized that however that english is our voice by saying compartmentalized, ah, yeah. compartmentalized. Oh, compartmentalized thank you oh register mm. at the end of the day that voice will not carry imagine a tenor singing yeah. with 
It will not carry. It will sound like mosquito. Yeah. <laughs> that's just the thing. Exactly. That, that's it what they call like it. Mosquito. Mosquito <laughs> it will sound like mosquito. Or or with so much um I've seen so much effort with the uh, with the with the articulators. This is moving too yeah. much on every uh, yes. just so exactly. much first. Yes. So, so that is that is just it. So, so for me it is um your that's why it's important to get a good teacher. That's why it's very yes. important to get a good teacher to guide you. If you don't have a good teacher, uh, you'll be missing a lot. You'll be missing a lot. The, you, need the, you need the right blend of... I, I, had, I, I got in and I heard you talking about light and dark in the, in the sound, in the voice. Are you with me? Yeah. Are you with me? Yes, I'm with you. I, 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 I came yes. in and I heard um, you talking about light and dark in the voice. Um, you so, so many Sorry so many people do one and don't do the other, hmm? and so many people don't have the right blend of both of them. So that is the problem many singers have. They don't give the right blend. In in, in Italian, it's called the chiaro scuro, the right blend of the chiaro yeah. and the scuro. You have to use, infuse scuro. both of them in your singing to get the right the right um, sound that can carry your voice in an opera production. You can't just have, you can't just sing with just the chiaro, which is the light, or, the, or just the scuro. Mm -hmm. It sounds awkward. It sounds awful. The, 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 the scuro, people that sing so much, just... so much ring, so much ring without foundation. Ringing without, yeah. without the, 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 the chest connection. Yeah, so, so, so you just need right, a teacher to guide you right, to um, put you right, so that you don't, you don't just... You don't just um now the question the question is now how do you know the right teacher because if you don't know what to look out for anybody will look like the right teacher as long as the person can throw terms at you okay then this is what, what i tell you okay apart from getting an education this is what i tell people when you are looking for a teacher check if the teacher sings healthily you know that this person is not singing we're singing with so much ease when you see someone that sings with ease that sings healthily you should know this person is doing right but when the person is not singing healthily it gives you a suggestion that the person is singing with so much effort so much pain so check out for somebody that has a good music um foundation and also sings healthily i know it's difficult to know people that sing healthily because some people don't have the basic knowledge but when you see somebody that doesn't you know, not all teachers are singers not all teachers yes. are singers but you have an advantage. For example, you Mama, have Banke a is a, Mama, Mama Banke is a fantastic teacher. Good, yes. All yes. her students that have graduated after graduation, they still sound good. Exactly. Not, not Once all you hear are... them, you're like, this is, this is Mama Banke student. That woman is yeah. good. Yeah. So she, she's a good teacher. So, not all and, not all, not all teachers are not all teachers are singing teachers. Not teachers are singing. Are Just like not all, yeah. all football coaches, not all football coaches can even play football. Yeah. So so sometimes but, those but not singing that's, teachers. That's, okay. So the question is not is not um I'm not saying no oh, um fine I agree that the teacher too should be able to sing effortlessly yeah. without strain if. If the teacher is a singer, but in the case that the teacher is not a singer, equally a good uh, a good um, singer. For example, we have some okay. people who study vocal pedagogy. We have some laryngologists, yeah. which we do not have here in Nigeria yet. But we have some we amazing so laryngologists the because they, 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 oh, we are. We only depend yeah. on sensation. True. We depend on sensation. And those sensations True. can guide us wrong. And because of those sensations, we now describe them by, you push. Yeah, exactly. This one will describe I, this one will describe the sensation the way he can in, understand and interpret it to the next person. It. And this next person, half, this person is different half, because, half, for example, half knowledge everywhere. Half knowledge everywhere. Thank you. you just, like for me, I have stiff tongue. I never knew that until Omo Belo came and gave a master class. Although I used to think I was talking for for net. Actually, before the accident, <laughs> I knew I had stiff tongue. Yeah. But that's this part of my tongue. It's stiff. Sometimes when I wake up yeah. and talk, my words are like heavy. I can't figure mm -hmm. it out. So it was Omo that first told me I had stiff tongue and gave me some exercises. The first day I did it, I was seeing stars. And don't forget, the tongue has a role in forming your words when singing. So yeah. imagine a teacher that is a singer that does not have that same challenge I have. That teacher mm. would not be able 
to help me out because he does not even understand the science behind singing. Some people True. have naturally good singing. They have they yes. have naturally good singing. If they we become are stressed, they are not effective. They will yes. they'll become ineffective because they do not understand how this voice works. And now I have stiff tongue. I did shout tell me sing 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 ah I sing e. The way you form your E is different from the way I form my E because of my tongue situation. Now, true, how do you address true, that? True. That is just the thing. So I will not say necessarily sing effortless. True. Good, 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 good. Yes. Okay, yeah. So it's, it's good. It's good. It's good that you have... It's, a, it's only an advantage that you have a singing teacher. It's an advantage you have a singing teacher because you can see what you learn live. You can see what it teaches you life i'm not saying that there are, there are so many other beautiful and amazing teachers that are not singing teachers okay. uh, it's only an advantage when you have a singing teacher because the teacher can you can see what the teacher teaches you while yes. he's performing so it's it's almost like it's almost like a master class anytime you see your, your mm. teacher sing hmm? so that's just the advantage but there are other teachers that are not singing teachers but they are studied and they know how the voice works they know how it works and they have there you you can you can you can it is even evident in the students that they have taught with, you, like they know how okay. to walk around the voice <laughs> exactly they know how like to walk. they know what to do they, they know what to do to make it a student that is weak or weak in singing that, that that's what i mean become a better singer yeah. I've, I've seen it with many of our students and mama Banke is one one example of a teacher that i know she's I not a singing it. teacher but she has Oh, lovely she has, yeah. she has done so much transformation with so many students i have i've seen I'm telling you. So, yeah so I have students, have, even after years after they graduated they still sound i amazing. remember rachel yeah. was singing once rachel was singing one time and i have good years for knowing when someone is singing very well because i have always loved I, the truth is i love I'm, I'm, I'm i've always been captivated by by sound the human sound especially when singing yeah. I just busted into a room in the prete pretext of greeting, and I said it was Rachel. I was like, "Mama is good." Yeah. Mama is good. So for me, it's not um, for me. Like I, I once had a coach when I, I did sports. I'm sure you also did sports. Uh, so yeah. I had a coach. I did. One, you did okay. One was not competing. That's when I was in athletics. He did not compete with athletics. But he knows how to draw a program mm -hmm. to help. The first time he tested me out, mm -hmm. he made me to run 100 meters. And of course, if you are not used to the track, they put me in lane eight, I ended in lane whatever, because I was so confused about mm -hmm. the whole thing. Yeah. So they tried me out many things until he found out what event I was actually good at. This is a man that has never competed before in athletics. In fact, other mm -hmm. coaches, you see like, oh, he, he, he this one will not compete. At the end of you know Nigeria Africans we are so competitive. At the end of the day, all his all his athletes are actually good because this man he has this innate gift of studying. By the way you walk alone, he knows which one is your str strong strong leg, just by walking. That's mm. just what. Then I had this other another coach when I was doing taekwondo. He was a fighter, but because okay. he was a fighter, he understood he understood how to win in the ring so he was so yeah. effective i, I have yeah. this advantage in case those that don't know me i'm very very tall so i had that dis <laughs> disadvantage <laughs> in the ring because of my height so this coach mm. just took me out from every other person drew patterns on the floor that's footwork made me work on them i was crying that people are kicking kicking me i'm doing foot but by the time I went into serious competition after months i mean months of just following patterns on the floor mm. my popular name they call me shorty kekere or the whole derogative name according <laughs> to the height but when it comes to you can't score you can't score me so this i said this to to bring out two examples one was an a, a, an athlete who competed yeah so he was so effective in teaching me mm. then the other one when i was in athletics wasn't an athlete per se Mm -hmm. but it was so effective so yeah. if i am to now come into this field and I, I i i i i have the interest to do this thing how okay. do i know a good teacher for me the okay. thing is first of all we i should know what i'm looking out for for yeah see how it teaches other students mm -hmm. 
listen very well do my own research yeah do my own research because i've seen great pianists good pianists that can play the whole music with the right interpretation mm. the right skill but they are horrible piano teachers yes they, they, let me add to that so there is there's a difference between um, being a, a singer or a performer or a studied musician or a studied voice um, musician and being a passionate teacher. There are so many people that are not good teachers. They are not passionate teachers. If you see a passionate teacher, he's dedicated to um, results and progress. A passionate teacher will go, at, go to any length to make sure that the student is a better student. That's a dedicated and a passionate teacher. And I think that's one that's one um, very, very good attribute of um, Princess Bank. Eh? She, yes. she, just, she will use herself. She, she, she's, not, she's very good oh at night, at midnight, to, to see that thing that... Um, yes. that so, so that's one person I... I that, that's one ability of a teacher. I know she's a, she's a teacher. Yeah. She's a teacher. I think that's what she studies. She, she, um, she's an edu um, educator, so she, she knows her way around students. She knows how to um, make a, a student prog a progress and find get results from that student. So that's the advantage she has. She might not be a performing teacher or a singing teacher, but she yeah. really knows how to teach. She knows how to yes. impact. Yes. So that's just, so you should watch out for somebody that is also dedicated to getting results, getting results from the student. It's not just after, it's not just after your money. It's not just after your um, having the name or say he has he or she has um, um, worked here as a teacher. It's after results. What my student has grown to become. What this what this person. What how this person's voice has been transformed from where he or she was to where he or she is. So that is that is the kind mm. of teacher you should work, watch out for. Somebody that is dedicated mm. to um, results. See you. See how far you've grown. <laughs> I remember the first <laughs> time I saw you was at a master class at St. Dominic's. But see how far you've come. Yeah. All that has to do with your own determination to work on yourself as well, not just the teacher. Yes, yes. Because people will just wait for whenever the teacher has a class with them. Yeah, no, it's because not I'm enough. I'm sure you did a lot of work on your own. Right? Sure, sure, sure. I did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I did a lot of work, but I would deny the fact that my teacher was a very very fantastic guide oh you had, you had sometimes joseph when you're teacher. working what was that yes joseph? yes yeah, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm joseph joseph was so i'm i'm internally grateful that he's my teacher because yeah there, there are some things that there are some things that i would have uh, yeah uh, naturally naturally you could work and if you don't know what to work on or what to do your effort will just be you'll just be making too much effort and you'll be yielding very little results less progress so, Yes, yes. Yes. So, so the reason why um, Mr. Tenno was very, very important was that he guided me. You need a guide. You need mm. somebody to tell you, okay, this is what you're working on. I think if you do it this way, you will sound better. And then you just discover that we just need to, need to that advice, just that advice, just those that little thing he said. Mm. Your work, your work is a um, lot more easier. So that's the advantage of having a teacher. It's not enough to just yes. work or make research. It is important you have to make research and work as well. But you also need a guide. Somebody yes. to always put you, put you right. Somebody to always tell you, okay, you are working. Uh, I, I like think... that. What? Yeah. So somebody that will always tell you, okay, this is where I think you should go. Just a little, a little direction, a little direction. You are working, but just go this way, this direction to help you save a lot of stress it will save you a lot of stress it will even make your work much more effective but 80 percent mm -hmm. of the work often 85 percent of the work is the student's work thank you now in choosing a good teacher again must it be oh the teacher sings your voice um, classification like yeah it's a problem so you want a problem teacher that's no. if you're looking for a singing teacher no, <laughs> at all. Yes, Mr. Teller is eternal. Adieu, I Mr. Teller is eternal. I'm a baritone, and he has taught sopranos, exactly. and he has taught other voices too, mezzo sopranos. Uh, yes, exactly. So it's okay. not. It's yes, not, because it's, I, I've uh, come across, I've come across students that will say, "Oh, you're yeah, a female. I won't understand what you're teaching. I want a man that has my type of voice." I'm like, "Well, the I man, that's his voice is like, 
<laughs> the man puts his voice inside you, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, that has to do. That's what. That's uh, this has to. Thank God we are doing this to help them guide. It is not enough yeah. to say, "Oh, I need a singing teacher," or "I need a singing teacher who sings my voice um, classification." That is meaning soprano, bass, or alto, mm -hmm. or tenor. Because as long as the person understands how, may I also say, understanding the science is very, very important. Exactly. How the voice works. And that's why, is yeah, very important. How the voice works. Yeah. Yes, on some side, uh, the way first works, and um, and the, the guide is see how that teacher has um made progress on newbies, on people that have been in the game, because the truth is that it's easy to teach newbies than those that have been in the game, because newbie is just brain foundation, so it's easy, mm -hmm. but it's also dangerous if you're a bad teacher. That means you're putting in bad techniques. Then if it's someone that has been in the game, that person is, it could be. A master of all the wrong techniques so you end up doing so much on True. so much within so much within yeah in fact they are the ones i i fear to have the most yeah they are the ones i fear to have the most because that that, that thing that idea is so solid in their head especially if they yeah. have done roles in this roles in that They're like i've done roles in this i've done roles i've done so many roles you what have you done they will not learn anything it's just like pouring water into an empty basket so my question yeah. the second question is this okay the voice as an instrument does it mean that oh my voice is only tuned to sing classical since i'm in quote classically trained do you feel that that is the right way or or do you feel the voice as an instrument can sing any genre of music what so, what, what are your thoughts so the the foundation to any singing is um singing right it's not the genre the genre does not have anything to do with um, singing rights. You just have to have the right approach to singing. You could you could pick up any genre that is your shooting or any genre. You can you could actually sing more than one genre. It's not um, it's not the, the 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 fact that you are a classically trained singer doesn't mean that you can't do a contemporary piece or you can't do jazz or you can't do some some other genre. Thank you. Just for you to sing whatever genre you are doing, make sure you are singing right. Make sure you are not doing things that will be harmful to your voice or harmful to your singing. Things that will cause your vocal force to stick. So those are the things you shouldn't try to do. Just, just don't use the wrong technique, but you can. You are free to sing any genre. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I like that word. You are free to sing any genre, meaning it's a matter mm -hmm. of choice. Because yeah. I have heard, I have heard, I have heard a soprano in our community there say, ah, I mm -hmm. just don't know. And I open my mouth to say, because the class can come out. My voice is too <laughs> to just and I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, if it, if it is so, my piano playing is too to just play classical or to, mm. to just play akpala. It's the same piano. You can play mm. whatever style of music. Music. Yeah. If not, why is the voice called an instrument? It's called an instrument because it should be able to play any genre of music. But like you said, if this is going to harm you, just sing. I, I always say sing safe. I remember joining a theater group, the University Palms. I was one of their first members. I know theater group in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They shout. Hey, yeah, Lord. Yes. yes. They shout a lot. They, 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 they don't even, I don't know if you know Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah. He's yeah, a host I do, I do. I in the Daily Show. If someone like Trevor Noah has a vocal coach that works with him before he goes in to do the Daily Show each time he has to host, mm -hmm. because that is his that is his um, work. He speaks a lot because there was a time yeah. he had um, he had to do surgery on his throat. Mm -hmm. After the surgery, he had to rest for one month. That rest for one month translated to no sneezing. No coughing, no talking. John, imagine. So if something yeah. tickling me, I will not sneeze. Because if he sneezes, coughs, or That's talks, sure. that means his voice. Yeah. So imagine yeah. putting yourself in such a situation. I'm just using Trevor, who yeah. speaks. How much more? Now, bringing this to our our so-called... Um, Profession. Um, 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 theater artists, newscasters, mm -hmm. voiceover artists, basically actors and actresses mm. they also need this but when you tell them they'll be like oh it's for singers 
The time mm. is coming that every, everything is going to evolve. Everything is yeah. going to evolve. But to take you and I to bring this knowledge and spread it around. Because not only them, even pastors in church. Some pastors mm. have two voices when they talk. One is high, one is husky. One mm. person is singing, speaking duets. One person is speaking duets. Because that yeah. voice has... Uh, is, 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 you know, it's, it's gone. So, bringing back, coming back to what I was saying on this is... They shout a lot, and um, I I did some things with them, but the ones that were uncomfortable, I just switched over to a safe way. And they're like, what do you okay. like? You can do any genre, but if it's going to harm you, do it your own way. Mm. Do it your own way. So I, I agree totally with you on that. Now, in yeah. case you're just joining again, my name is Christine Okosun, and this is John, a baritone singer, yeah. a member of the Comic Opera House, a graduate of the Muson alumni, he studied voice to under Joseph Opara Madurike, and he has played several roles in the opera. Please kindly tell them more about yourself. Okay, um, I'm John. I graduated 2009 from Muson Diploma School of Music as a baritone. I studied voice and opera under the tutelage of Mr. Joseph Opara Madurike. I graduated as um, the Canto Singer of the Year in my set, and also as the best graduating, highest scoring graduating singer, uh, and graduating and student. Um, I've done some roles in the opera. I've done roles with the students' um, opera. I've done, um, I played um, Richard Chumley with the student opera, and I also played um, Herr and the Chevalier, Chevalier Frank in um, Dear Fledermaus. I played Fiorello too in the Baba of Seville. I've also played um, Guillermo, Guillermo in um, Cosi Fan Today, the excerpt of Cosi Fan Today, and some other roles that I, I can't just mention all. So, yeah, I am John on the CDSA. Thank you. I can't hear you. Mike. Your mic. Your mic, I can't hear you. I look at Scroff. Okay, you can hear me now, right? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Sorry, it's, um, our fantastic network. Nigeria is blessed. That's all I will say. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so one final thing before we leave. What are the steps you feel we should take to reform music in Nigeria? Because I am all about, um, this is read by about on my channel, music and musicianship in Nigeria, basically reforming it. Because like I said, there are a lot of good singers out there that are not really known. You just like say the most beautiful girl is the ones that are on the pageant. That is wrong. You mm -hmm. will see some very fine women that are not yet known. That are, because yeah. they don't compete for them. Maybe because they've not had the opportunity or they choose not mm -hmm. to be that. Or more than that, those two reasons. So what do you think we can do to change not just music and music, uh, good singing and music in Nigeria, but also like I extended it to our voice over artists. You see the way they talk. And I use mm -hmm. the example of whoever knows. What do you think we can do to bring about this change? Because the world is evolving and we cannot be left behind. Okay, so I, um, it's a very, very broad question and it's actually very broad to tackle because yeah. um, we are in a society that is disadvantaged, really, 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 really disadvantaged. There's a lot. There's a lot we need to do to to get better. There's a whole lot, and sometimes when you think about all the things that you need to do for us to have um, a better um, study environment, a better um, 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 singing society, a better atmosphere in terms of our um, professional career, sometimes it is overwhelming, and sometimes it's you you can't you, you almost give up. Um, um, the the point, the chase 
of having a very beautiful career in in singing but we i just believe that um um efforts that are made from um, collaborative effort is usually what makes things work if we if we can collaborate in very 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 little ways we don't need to do too much collaborative effort is what i think can help us grow um we we when oh, yeah. so collaborative effort yes this so we when it, this is new. welcome hold on hold on john please welcome this app hold on let me just send um john someone mm -hmm. said john is amazing <laughs> thank oh, you <laughs> so let me just hold on john. let me just send this um link again oh this avenue can you see the link can you just scroll up and see the see the link and join us? John is amazing. After everything mm -hmm. John has said, it's, it's a whole lot of work we have to do. The person just like <laughs> yes, it's a whole lot of work. Yes, it is. It is. So I love that what you said, collaboration, because for us to bring about this thing, this avenue, please scroll up. You see the link. Join us. Collaboration, but but. This collaboration, you know, it's not going to be easy because we are very, we are highly competitive, and that way, exactly. See how we can actually, um, not that I'm being pessimistic. I don't see how we can move forward when we have so much unhealthy competition going on. True. So, so this is what this is what I try to encourage. Um, uh, I, I want to, I want to, I want to um, do something maybe a little. Uh, I want to speak about my set my graduating okay. set so um this is this is um what helped us bond and work together so the 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 fact that we are unique and different and have different abilities and the fact that we we all we all respect the other person's uniqueness we all see respect and Okay, and there is there is always something we can do together. There is always something we can do to um, to make it better. And that's why my sets we I I just feel we are, they are, I I call all of them fantastic because they they always want progress. They always want to do what will make the group better. What will make the set better? You 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 see that almost everybody was like a shining star. Why? Because there was support. Whatever genre you're doing, Shalom was a, Shalom is a contemporary singer. Mm -hmm. You know Shalom, right? My Shalom, Shalom is a contemporary singer, and so many others are, are do classical. And Muson, you have to do classical before you graduate. It doesn't mean that he didn't he didn't do classical pieces. Well, his forte, his strength is um, contemporary singing. So it comes with the. Um, seeing the uniqueness in that other person it's not we are we are very um, quick to criticize the next person because the person is not doing what we think um is right or what we the orientation we have mm -hmm. as to what is right we don't want to collaborate with the person and work together with the person that's i, I think it's it's every it's in every in every facet of our society so yeah. i just feel that if we, if we Learn to respect the next person for his uniqueness. If there's any way you can help somebody, you don't just come out to make the person look um, very little. If there's any way you can help somebody, even when you feel the person is not doing right, encourage the person and try to see how you can work with the person. Do not be discriminatory. Do not be. Um, do not talk down the person as so as if the person is what the person is doing is bullshit. Just try to see how you can work with the person and make the person better. As you make yourself better, there's always something you can learn from the next person. There's always something, um, no matter how small the person is, no matter how, in my class, we have different age variation. We have somebody that was up to 40 and over 40s, and we have somebody that was as young as 17 and 18. But because the, if the person that is 40 understands that no matter how, how as, as young as the 70 year old is, I could work with that person because there's, there's something that person could actually pass as knowledge to me. So it's the, the, that's the collaborative effort I'm talking about. I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of my sets. I'm not saying that there's, there's so many fantastic sets in, in um, um, Muson um, Diploma, but I'm particularly, I'm particularly proud about, about my set because of that thing, that unity, that bond. 
you would even see uh, it even after graduate after graduation yes. that we are yes. we are still bonded and we we support the other person and in their in their own way no matter how different they are from us so i think that's the that's the that's one thing we should learn as musicians as nigerians to support each other to be um, to encourage um, other people's uniqueness to see how they desire these things, how they love it, and how they want to do it, and support them instead of making them feel bad about what they do. So I think if we are very supportive and we learn to cooperately um, co um, cooperate with each other and work with each other, we'll have a better place. Gradually, we'll be able to build that um, that that uh, environment for ourselves. The environment of um, better learning for ourselves. Hmm. I like that. John, and can you someone, hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. So, 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 um, so um, one other thing. Um, we should also we should also constantly remind remember that um, we are learning, and and that's the that's the that's the challenge many of us also have. Um, the fact that you are. Uh, Joshua David, welcome. Hold on, please. Joshua David, welcome, welcome. I just posted a link. Joshua David, please click on that link and join. She will do. She will do. Click on that link and join, please. She will do. Joshua David, click on that link. I just sent a link. I just sent a link. John, you can continue. She will just joining. <laughs> That's how she does that. We have her. Hello, John. Am I lying? Okay. <laughs> she will come late. She's changing name? now. She's changing. She, yeah, she's I, making efforts to change now. She's the youngest <laughs> of. I won't call the name. She's the youngest of that baritone. That <laughs> <laughs> she will kill me if he hears his name of my life. She will kill me. The younger sister to that barrier too. That guy, he will even go lift the rapture. Um, <laughs> no, he's a prof. He's a prof. <laughs> what is what? I say he's a prof of that level. Well, let's not, let's not, uh -huh. um, let's not. <laughs> okay, let's not go there. Okay. Let's not go that way. Let's not go that way. <laughs> oh, no. The two just took me there. Joshua said, great talk. Well done. She went to say, well done. I just posted a link. She went to say, ha. That's not how I do a big coaching when do we know you come late for everything. <laughs> and I don't know why they call you a muscle. See please click on that link. <laughs> click on that link. We need to see you. And just for this uh uh um uh, so in case you're just joining my the person and with me on the screen is John Anoselli, a baritone singer and um, he gave useful insights, very articulate way to talk about and singing, the mechanism of singing, or rather the act of singing. A question was asked by Adela Odusoye, saying um, how would one know their stress and asked her what does that mean? Because there is one thing for someone to ask a question and you don't know where the person is coming from. So I needed to understand what to her strength is and she explained um, some people like um, the strength is in the dark tone, some light tone. Yes, yes. So I have to explain that the dark or the light timbre, anybody can do it. It's just, it's just how deep your breath is and lower your larynx is. Chewie is here. Hey, Chewie. Hello, Miss Christy. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. Thank you for joining. See, John is blushing. <laughs> 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 okay, so. I've actually was saying, and John gave a very good example: singing baritone and tenor. Mm. So that goes to prove that it's it's not a function of oh dark or light sound. It's a matter of choice and the color you want to paint in your singing, or what the words are saying, the emotion you want to portray, or how you like that tone to be. For example, a song, a line of a song, can have varying harmonics and fundamentals depends on the vowel and you know the, the, you can't sing one vowel throughout depends on the vowel, vowel the pitch 
and that has to also depend on the formant and then the formant breath pressure and the um, and the, um how, what, what, what do I say again? A lot of, and acoustics. A lot goes into it. So Chinwe, thank you for coming. Chinwe, okay. can you help? Chinwe, yes, I so can. What is, what is your take on on um? Some voice type saying, oh, because I'm this voice. What is, first of all, what is your take on voice typing? Do you agree with it? Mm, yes, I agree with voice typing. Wait, mm. wait, I don't understand. Do you mean for like soprano, tenor, soprano, alto, no, mezzo, no. soprano, tenor, bass? No, I, I, I'm soprano, I'm I'm lyrical. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't completely believe in voice typing because I've, I've, um, watched some, I've watched some, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, because I've watched, there, there's somebody, I, um, I take time to watch once in a while on YouTube and then she was, she was trying to teach about the voice and and vo different voice colors so i think some people some people try to make their voice seem darker like it's for example a soprano like to make their voice seem darker and sound like a mezzo soprano and then sometimes they let their voice open and sing freely and then they sound like a soprano <laughs> so i don't i don't exactly i don't exactly believe that okay this person is a uh, uh, spinto, yes, yes, there is. But I, I believe in the mezzo soprano, soprano, tenor, baritone, and baritone, all those other ones. But saying, um, sp um, spinto, or how they put spinto, coloratura, this Atura, and that, everybody yeah. can. Uh, this, it, it all depends on training. We can all train to be like that. So it depends I on training, that like, exactly. it depends on training and, um and um hard work okay let me see how do it depends on training and hard work because we can and push and ourselves skill, we can work and your skill level at that moment and your skill level at that moment yes at that moment exactly so i can as i am i can train and and um work hard and i can sound like maybe a dramatic soprano i don't know how they I, because i don't like to i don't like to, because i don't like to i don't like to um look into all those classification all those um voice typing like that so i don't know all of them one after the other i don't know all of them one after the other so i don't exactly believe in the voice typing thing anybody can anybody can it, it all depends on training and how you work how much you work everybody can any soprano singer can train and then there are some i know that there are some people that don't sing really high and there are some that don't sing really low like me i fall in uh, on the category i've been the category of people that does not sing very low as a soprano so but i can train to sing low to an extent not very very low at least to soprano range low so i don't i don't exactly believe in the voice typing thing and and and, and, and it, thank you so much you answered it so well before before um uh, before you came in we were talking about that and I, I i also said the same thing and john to an extent also shed light to it that um you have to sing the way it naturally comes to you and your technical level mm -hmm. i'm just perfect yes yes so um I've, uh, about like singing dark or light, anybody can do it. It's a matter of yes. breathing low, breathing very low. Oh, 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 very Maria. And somebody will hear me and ignorantly say, "Oh, this is a mezzo." You know, mm. it happens a lot. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, right. This is a mezzo. And some sopranos are like, "Oh, sopranos, I can't go that low." It's because they yeah. never discovered how to breathe that low. Or maybe they are really subconsciously not interested to go that low. Yeah. Until until you until you do it, you will never do it. What if you breathe low? Ah. Hold on. Until you breathe low, can you hear me? 
Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Until you breathe low, and then lean on your breath. When I mean lean on your breath, resist the way your your diaphragm will come back to rest position. But please, I always repeat, not at all costs. Because if you are doing it at all costs, that means you are putting undue pressure in your throat somewhere. So it's just resisting the delaying, rather delaying the speed at which the diaphragm wants to come back to its rest position. So if I breathe. So my diaphragm is really low. My lungs are expanded. Breathe low into my back. And I go. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it has to do with breath pressure. It has to do with acoustics. It also has to do with pressure. I was talking about some challenges some of us had. I know that I had this song until Omobelo gave me the master class. But this song is an acquired one because I wanted to be speaking for next. Just, um, we just, we just, we just, we just gain some, some speech impediment that translates into our singing. Because singing is esten- um, essentially an extension of the way you speak. So imagine somebody who speaks like this. Hello, oh, John, how are you? So much, so much constriction, pressure in the teeth in the door. How do you think that person is going to sing? That person is going to not go anywhere. It's so fresh. It's an extension of how you speak. So I, I started, uh, I went to Lagos Anglican Girls, and in my school, everybody was donating. I did not want to be left behind. So myself, I now <laughs> filled up my chair. Over the end, I guess that's where I had that skip up from. So I noticed after Amobelo said that, sometimes I wake up, and I notice my words actually, my tongue is heavy, I can't say a damn word. That's even before the accident, too. So when the accident happened, it's at that same point that the thing caught. So, like, two days ago, I woke up. I wanted to talk. I couldn't form the word. I was like, uh, I to get my again. Now, a teacher that does not understand that peculiar, peculiar challenge I have with my articulator, you know, your cheek, your jaw, your tongue, are your articulator. And your tongue plays a good role in singing. For example, some have, have you seen some people with very wide and long tongue? Have yes, you had any yes, students yes. like that? Yeah, I've seen How like, you know somebody How like that. How because the way the person will say E, you will tell the person to do E, and the person is having a different feedback and relay because this is the person's challenge. So our challenge is our question. That's why we both understand formants and, um, uh, and, and then uh, acoustics as well. So the thing is, Anybody can sing anything as long as you understand how your voice works and you mm. have the proper breathing. In case you don't know, in case you're just joining, this is Chinwei, a beautiful soprano singer. <laughs> I remember back then, when I first heard Chinwei, Chinwei only cared about the high notes. I remember back then, he only waited for when he's high. Ah! Oh, ah! <laughs> I, I, I can hear you grow a lot and your voice is it's quite robust. And the truth is that it can be more robust than that. It's you that you are holding back. You are holding back. Why do you think you are holding back? Mm, well, I've heard I... this thing. We were doing the rehearsal. Sometimes, I remember when it was just the two of us doing... Um, sorry, my French is the most horrible in the whole planet. In fact, in the whole galaxy. <laughs> With almost let your brother. No. <laughs> So oh, this book can speak French. John and Chiwe can speak French. Um, <laughs> I don't have the gift of language per se. Right. I speak the modified, which is the Edo version. By the way, back to what I was saying. When we're doing that, Bune, Bune what, what is it called? Um, that's it. Now that's a, um, um, what's it called? Um, I remember when to the two of us and uh, somebody else stopped. It's just the, just the two of you and we carried all the voices. Your voice was so robust. And the truth is that I like when the sound is smooth and rich. When the sound is what? like full and rich. Okay, okay. Full and rich. And there is a okay. place where it has to be, uh, like when we're doing the Belcanto one, the Papensiero. Mm. 
and you know pp pp varies your understanding of pp is different from my understanding of pp so we all have to follow the direction of the conductor so if the opportunity for me if the conductor pp is like this that can is more down mm -hmm. because you are taking me to now want to make my instrument smaller than and that is why i i as a person struggle you know what you know mr kanish pp Do you know mr kanish pp no you know what i mean mr kanish pp you know mr kanish the cello teacher the german yes. man yeah. yes yeah. i know mr kanish pp actually you need something to listen to that pp to hear it the pp is so super soft so when we're doing that in zero and then joseph will not say you oh god extremely pp Oh my God, it's problem. Not that it's hard for me, but ah, oh, oh, not that yeah, hard yeah, so Naturally, that's not what, like you said, naturally. Naturally, that means you're Just making me to want to. Not making me close my throat somewhere, which is uncomfortable for me. So God help you with the conduction translation of PP or FF or FF. Mm. more than what technically are able to are able to do at that point like now if they say and they now want you to produce more than the f of the f of the f of the f that you are capable to produce technically according to your technical power please that would you just know what i'm talking about can you relate to that i i i can i can okay. so um i'm also a victim of um, um what this thing um there there will be sometimes that i will be required to sing p uh, in in our voices and in 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 the bass voice and depends on the note actually so sometimes you will be required to sing p yeah. and um it, it's probably on the higher pitch or something that we need, need a lot more support and a lot more control and then because our P varies. You just hear me. Yes. You just hear me different from the others because it's almost like I cannot go. Um, I can't sing softer than I than than what softer I can. Than, yeah. If I sing softer than that, I'll just I'll just pass out. So I I I, I understand the I, I get it. <laughs> so our volumes are. And it should be lock lock. It should not lock something somewhere. Lock something somewhere. Yeah. Because I'm. Yeah. I don't know. See, wait. What about you? Mm, I. For me, the P, the PP parts for me, I I think I can. I think I. Yeah, I it's because not so, it's not it. so yeah. difficult. It's not so so difficult like that. Like I I like to I actually when I'm not singing alone, I'm singing with other people. So I like to blend and not overshadow anybody or sound or let my sound or voice be picked out by the doctor or whoever is in charge so i i try to blend that's just it so i try so, to blend i try to blend too blending is necessary when you're singing with a group uh, but the the unique challenge is now like i explained with my own song the unique challenge is some other person it could be um the person has a master breath management yes or the post of that person when singing that song because i don't know john if you've noticed put your eyes down when we resume i hope we will resume soon when we sit down not all of us legs touching the floor on that chair do you agree not all of us legs touches the floor when we sit not all of us our feet planted firmly on the floor like oh, me, okay. it's my toes that like, touching the, the floor when I'm sitting at the edge because I'm very tall. So it's my toe. So mm -hmm. I'm not that comfortable <laughs> in that chair. Uh -huh. <laughs> so imagine just my toe. And I'm almost like, almost like at the end of the day, like standing to be comfortable, standing sitting to be comfortable. That's another thing to yeah, posture so that I can achieve that high sternum position. And some of those chairs I can't even achieve. Oh, chill, we have done. Okay, I can't even achieve that high sternum position. So Chinwe, I want you to sing two songs for us. One in a uh, um, the so-called lyrical, and the other one in the so-called coloratura to debunk to debunk this idea of oh I am coloratura, I am lyrical. 
Can you try that? Ah. Uh, okay. I Okay, what kind of what, what song do you want me to sing to use as an example? Come on. Oh, Casta Diva. That's Casta Diva. That's Casta Diva. Yes. Yes. Casta Diva. So, okay. Can you do Casta Whoa, Diva you have put me on the spot. Okay, I've not really learned Casta Diva, but I I know um Juliet Waltz. Oh, wow, wow, okay. Yes, well. and why would you know I've that not... one in French? Eh? Why would you know that one in French? You like French. <laughs> <laughs> you love French, no? Yes, so I love French. Okay. A lot. Okay. Je veux vivre. Je veux vivre. Je veux vivre. Yes. Are I you want to up? Up? No, I haven't. That's, that's, no, I, I haven't. I'm I've not done. Ah, that's... I've not worked yeah. Just pick any key, any key. The essence is just for... for um, for a, a practical demonstration that any voice can do anything. Okay. Um, acquisition. Tech, not of your technique acquisition. And of course, that has to do with your growth vocally. So you don't jump from class one to class six. It's, it's, it's a process. Maureen okay. Chuku, welcome. Yemi Lade, welcome. Thank you, Yemi. Yes, thank you. This, I posted the link, you did not join, though. Joshua David, I posted the link, you did join. Okay, Kimo, when you're ready, please. Okay, uh, I'm trying. I've, I've not warmed up, but let me try and sing the first. You can just do some lip frills. Do some lip frills. Okay, so the beginning, uh, whoa, okay, let me, let me try, let me just try it like this. Okay, I tried to descend, <laughs> but, you know what I'm no, I haven't. I haven't. And it's not so, so comfortable. Like, I've not sang. I've not really sang yeah, in a I while, did. in a long while. Yeah. I remember uh, one of my pretty, very intelligent eight year old girl, what does it like? Sing an upper roll, like, eh! if it's opera, high notes, you need to be warmed up so that you don't destroy your instrument. So I understand. Uh -huh. Well, just take it on yeah. any key. Thank you. Oh! Okay, you still want me to sing it? <laughs> okay. okay, sorry, my face is almost dark. It's getting really dark here. <laughs> okay. Um. Let me try again. Je veux vivre dans le Oh. 
ಮುರೊಂದು ಮಾತಾ ಸೋ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಐ ಮೋ ಬೂತ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಐ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಐ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಡು ಲೈಕ್ ಐ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ವಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ವಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಅಟಾಕ್ ಸುರಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಅಟಾಕ್ ಯಾ ಓಕೆ ಟ್ರಮ್ ಯಾ ಯಾ ಅದು ಅಟಾಕ್ ಸುರಾಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವೆರಿ ಟ್ರಿಕಿ ವಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಾರಿ ಮಿಮಿ ಯು ನೋ ಯೆಸ್ ಯೆಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಪಿಕ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಸಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಹೇ you know it needs to be learned properly phrase by phrase properly yes not so oh, i want applause uh, what you, um 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 applause gazim <laughs> okay can you sing a lyrical a lyrical a lyrical uh, song like maybe from a musical okay um um i'm okay, trying to thank you for joining and appreciate it this avenue thank you okay a little musical don't you have a musical okay mm i'm thinking of my, um art is calling for me is quite popular you want to sing that okay 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 yes it is okay Mm, music okay mama is a queen and papa is a king so i am a princess and i know it but court etiquette is a dangerous sin i just hate it all and i show it just sing on the stage there's no one like for me my feet is just like the trazini I know been fame in a song in Bohan that's what promising your fortune I've learned to know the rules that would send up a cold chill down the <laughs> that's not the act track here anyway well, it's okay it's okay because uh, you're not fully warmed up and I would not want you to commit more suicide yes very good. So the voice is like, okay. <laughs> hey thank you Chiwi. thank you so much for joining and in case anybody is online which I can't tell for now thank you for joining ooh Johnny is back Johnny is back <laughs> 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 maybe he was going to be so great <laughs> <laughs> you went to poo. <laughs> no. No. Um, you know, like women a lot. Hmm. That's one thing is missing in this area as our John you too like women. Hey, God. I've never seen a guy that love touching ah. women. Hold, hold, hold. It's in the eyes of the woman. <laughs> eh? You don't sense me. Oh, <laughs> I'm saying the truth. So, all those people that gosh at the bar, because, ah, don't gosh for Johnny, oh, Johnny, like this man. Ah, sister, why is this not market for me? As in, eh, John is innocent to be cool. Innocent to me. Ah, He's innocent. Anyway, anyway. Now, my question is this. What do you think the hope of this movement to redefine music, good music in Nigeria? Where do you think the hope is going to in this our cli- uh, political climate? That, I did not get that. The hope of redefining you. The aim of, the aim of my channel is to redefine what music is and musicianship. Because like I said, we have a lot of good musicians, but they are not known. Yeah. So my aim is I'll be featuring these musicians. I'll get their videos, put them on my channel. So people will know them. For example, Chimwe. people should know you john people should know you it's not just the ones that have been featured regularly they should know you people my own is 
um, free, free publicity. And I do that on my Instagram. I usually repost a lot of people. Um, people that I know that are good, though. For example, that's one I've never ever, ever pushed. I only give you comments and, and uh, love on Instagram. But if someone use my data to post your thing, it's not happening. I say if I know that you think rubbish. So, hey, go. <laughs> so, so <laughs> I can be that blunt. So now the question is that this um uh two ways. I know we are all changing the world in these two ways. I know John has some students who's impacting. I know you have people you are impacting singing. What do you think the hope of classical music and opera and good singing is in this present Nigeria under this present political economical climate? Hmm. Yes. Okay. John John, you can start. I I, I think I've said um, I've said um, a little on it. I've spoken on it a little. But I'm I'm going to um, I'm going to just add that um I know we are we are disadvantaged here. <laughs> Hello? I said I know we are disadvantaged here, yeah, but um, I I also feel that um, we can we can we can uh, make better efforts with um, cooperation, like I said, and then we can we, we should just do our bits, just just do what you have to do individually to promote the art. Just do what you need to do to promote the art. Do what you need to do to um, push yourself out there. And very maybe one day we'll get the visibility that we're looking for. So we just we just need to keep constantly um, put ourselves there, or constantly put ourselves in the eyes of the public. People will get to see what we are doing, and then we'll, 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 there will be a chance for a better um, environment, for a better um, musical climate for us so, because I, I i that i said before there are a lot of um that is very is a very broad thing it, you, you can't you, you'll be almost frustrated when you want to um to take discuss um, the challenges we have as singers here and how how damp our yeah. hope are, um to, oh, uh, to, yeah. Yeah. to for a better society but i just feel that um we can't we can't just keep complaining um, and doing nothing. If we if we give, there will be no hope. We just kill the dream. We just need to put ourselves the little way we can, the little way we can push your the art, the little way you can encourage the other person in the art. Even if you're not going to be an active performer, even if you're just going to um, be an enthusiast, just keep supporting those you can support. Keep um, um, collaborating with those you can collaborate on on every level. It's not just as a performer. It's not just as um, a singer. It could be. It could be um, as a as a as an. It, it could be in the form of advert. It could be in any form, any level. But just try your best. Just do your bit to promote the art, because the, the oh, truth is, yeah. we 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 lack a lot when it has to do with um, when it comes to um, Western art music. Mm -hmm. the, the 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 study of singing generally we lack a lot so we need help um, even if so many of us don't agree that we need help we actually need help but we can't get this help mm -hmm. if people don't know what we are doing all right so we, sh we should just try as much as we can to push and make ourselves visible so that we can get this help it, it doesn't have to necessarily be me or you, it could be somebody else, but provided the person is preaching the gospel, we, we are backing the person up. Let, let's just be um, collaborative, let's just be supportive, and anybody that will get, give us the desired result, we should, the person should have our backing. If I have an opportunity, <laughs> if I have an opportunity to, for you to um, if you're in a, if a competition, and even if I am not friends with you, or I'm not, um, um, I'm not um, doing what um, you you agreed to, but because I am, um, I'm a preacher of this craft. Um, I'm carrying the banner of the gospel. As you get your support, that's mm -hmm. how collaboration 
um, um, effort. I love well. that. Yeah. So it, we should we should just we should just try our best to to just support the next person and on every level, not just as a singer, on every level. So I, I think I with that, that get, we'll get a bigger scope for our singing, and then hopefully the the the, the climate changes for us. Where are you? I can just stand up in the background. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm in my my house, and Mozart is around, so he's playing on the background. Hi. Can you can you see show the space? Can you show or can you uh, show him playing? Hi. Hi. Nice concert. Hi. Hey, Mozart. How are you? Hey, I'm fine. Wow. Something, right? Mozart, yeah. can you play something for us? Serenade us. Please, Serenade us. Yeah. Don't hold that video. I can't write well. What's My Bach, Frank Schubert. Um, Frank Schubert, I think you should have it. Have you seen it? The book? Hmm? No. See, it's, it's here. No, I don't. Put the camera very well to catch Mozart's face. Okay. Oh, no, no. Okay, I'll, I'll use the Okay. 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 Okay.
Samuel, I know. I'm a piano major. I took the piano. Oh. <laughs> Is that all? Uh, He's a piano major. Graduated from Wizard. Your teacher, who was a teacher? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I I graduated from Muson as a piano major. Uh, I studied under Mrs. Edna Shonyawo in my first year. Then in my second year under Mr. Yoban Koli Jr. He's still my teacher till now. I still get classes from him. And yeah, I graduated as the best piano in piano proficiency and piano accompaniment from the School of Music. Woo! <laughs> That's <laughs> it. <laughs> He's an amazing <laughs> piano. John, I envy you. You have a pianist ready with you there. That's good. That's very yeah. good. Thank you for making this call of food. So, more than. Yeah. More than. More than. Yeah. I, will, I asked John a question. What is the hope of classical music in Nigeria? I'll ask you as a, as a, as a pianist. What is the hope of classical music as a pianist in Nigeria? As a pianist, my, what's my word? What's the hope of classical music? The hope, the hope oh. of classical music. Uh, actually, uh, classical music, as classical piano in Nigeria, uh, has not been so easy though, because we met some people doing it, and from what we've heard from people and from what we've ex have experienced too, I uh, we still need more people to know about it. Is not really giving that much recognition it really deserves like that. We we still have to we have to uh, bring it close to people. That's how I see it. Because even most of my people, most of my friends doing the same classical piano at some point, you know, I had to switch to other genres of music just to make uh just to just to be okay. Yeah, they just try to uh to explore other other genres of music, but for classical piano, ah, I think we still need more, more, more recognition. We still need, because actually, uh, basically, we do a whole lot of works, bringing out, bringing everything together, and we still get this little recognition like that. I feel it's not just been easy. So, so the whole oh. how long the, have you been playing the piano? How long uh, have you been playing the piano? Oh, okay, I started piano 2013. That's about seven years from now. Yeah, that's about seven years. Yeah, about seven years. Though I, I got the passion to start piano around 2012, but I had no teacher, I had nobody around me, just a young boy with passion in Logo State. So I had nobody to actually to tell me. So I had to just find my way around it before I could get my way to Lagos, find myself here in Lagos. Yeah. Wow. Oh. I yeah. did not know that. Okay. Um, when you think around this, were you playing by yourself? Did you learn how to play by yourself by ear? Is that what you mean by something about it? Yeah, not really. I have a, I have a family, a kind of family friends in Ogo State. There are two of their uh, children actually attended Moson. That's the additional family, the Lydia additional and Timothy additional. Timothy, oh. please, yeah. yeah, they're actually very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
they, it was actually their family that, that even told me to apply to Muson. They were the one that asked me to register for the graded exams. So uh, I've always known them since when I was four. I know Lydia sings and Timothy plays the piano. So I was a bit close to their family. I always go to their house to practice the piano. Myself and Joshua. Joshua is Lydia's brother. So we practice piano. We, we were actually on the same level before he traveled to the US too. So it was those, oh. those family, yeah, they were the ones actually coaching me. Though they were not, they, uh, Lydia and uh, Timothy were not around. So the f dad and their elder brother were the ones taking me. They are not actually professionals like that. But with this more they've gathered over time, they, they are able to impart a little. And when they, when I, when they felt I was ripe enough to take some graded exams in Wilson, they told me to come to Lagos for the exams. Then after the exams, I went back home. Then they, I started preparing for uh, for the diploma school. So when it was time for me to take it, they asked me to come back. So I had to, to apply. So I had, I had a kind of tutor, though they were not pianists. The, both the dad and the other mm. brother were not pianists, but they know a little about it. So they were just telling me and giving me materials to practice and some piano tutors that I was using over, over wow. those time. Yeah. So they taught you how to read music as at that time. Learned how to read music as at that time. Yeah, yeah. They, they taught me how to. I've been playing piano before I started going to their place. I've, I've been practicing piano. Though I've known them since when I was small, but I don't really go to their house. But it was after they spotted this interest in piano. And they know Timothy plays piano so well. It was already in Muson that time. I think he graduated that time. So it was then that they brought me into the family and were giving me stuff to practice. Yeah. We have to do we have to do this whole segment because what I have in mind is um, like I said earlier, like I said earlier, that there are a lot of bunch of good um, musicians that are not known. Just like saying the most there are a lot of very good when I say musicians, please. The audience watching and those that are watching that take notes. If we call ourselves musicians, this is not a slight on any entertainer outside. If they wake up and call themselves musicians, it's an insult to us. There's a difference between musicians and then Please take notes. Musicians, they studied music. Mm -hmm. They know everything they know about music, the notes, the feelings, the key, the reading, everything. And um, they actually went to an institution to study. It's different from an entertainer. Applause garden. So please, uh, if you see people like you, I'm going to ask you to later have a start to just send me your videos and your biography. And I'll put it, like I do that in the normal day, free of charge. All these years on my Instagram, I don't know if you know Michael Oluyede. Yeah, you know Michael Oluyede. Uh, yeah, I know him. Yes, to me, he's the best drummer in West Africa. He like made them go knock their head to the ground. He's the best drummer in West Africa. I, 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 every time I see his post, once I have enough data, I promote it because that guy ought not to even be on this level. Do you understand what I'm saying? There are a whole lot of good musicians out there. Some have found themselves out of Nigeria, and are doing it. for those of us in Nigeria, the truth is that the um the platform the platform so far is not this one. But thank God, now we have a level playing field. This is Corona. Everybody is online, so we have a level playing field. So we're going to take advantage of that. So I'll ask for a profile later on WhatsApp. I don't have your WhatsApp number. I'm going to ask John then your profile, your videos. John did so well. Uh, we did very, very well. The next one we're going to do, we'll make sure the fan is off. Then the sound is really padded because those windows, you know, it's hitting against hard stuff. It's just not what I'm saying about the sound for your piano. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? What's that? Hello? Okay, as I was saying, we're going to do more more on the sound, better sound. So in case you're just joining, once again, my name is Kristin Okosun, the owner and founder of the Nigerian Bell Cancer Society Movement Set to 
we define music and musicianship in Nigeria. I thank these people so well for joining. And please click a like button if you're watching this as a replay or if you're just joining or and um, share, comment, and uh, click on the notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video. We'll be doing more of this. And I believe we've learned so much today. This was an amazing segment and, and I'm so grateful for the participants. So to we see again, Bye. And please, to the singers, practice safe, practice wise, and practice and learn. Bye.